And, and what has it been like transitioning? I shouldn't say transitioning, but but um, but I suppose doing more film work, kind of working within the Hollywood system a little bit more. Um, tell me a little bit about Free Guy, because that was that. I, I suppose obviously we should say that you you were Ray's mother as well, right? In Star Wars, yes, you did have a little bit of a taste of that before too. Yeah, one day, <laughs> one tiny little taste. Um, yeah, I mean it's funny because I'd always had an insecurity of, oh, I'm a TV actress and. I'm never going to do film and film is so other. And, and then, you know, I got free guy and I realized that it's very much the same. It's just ginormous. Um, but you know, the way you approach your role is the same and, um, the people are the same, you know, that kind of morale on set is the same. And, um, you know, you're all kind of working towards this one thing. Um, but it was just huge, you know, just seeing the, the scale of the sets, the the green screen, the kind of decision making, you know, there's so many people you have to go through to make a decision about something, whether it's costume or makeup or, you know, wh- whatever it may be. Um, so there's just a lot more people involved, you know, and, and, and I understand because it's like these things are such a beast, you know, and when you fully comprehend and realize like how many people you know pre-covid as well like go to the cinema and invest in these films and the detail that goes into them in post it's not just about what happens on set it's everything that happens afterwards when we've moved on onto our next jobs and you know people are still very much working on it um but it was it was wonderful and it was a very kind of calm and playful and fun set which I think um, you know, and, and Ryan and Sean had a lot of space and a lot of time for me and, um, which was great really as a kind of like introduction to then going on to Ridley's set, which just worked in a very, very different way. Um, you know, and I felt like I was where I should be, you know, um, spend a lot of time, you know, we should always be grateful, but I think I've spent a lot of my time, you know, being like, oh yeah, you know, like, I, I don't know, like I'm lucky to be here and like, I've won a competition kind of thing. And, and there was something about doing the last year where I was like, I felt like I'd stepped into myself and own, like took ownership of, of where I was and, 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 you know, what I'd done to get there. And that was, that was really, that was really nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing no absolutely yeah. I, mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean but then you know now I'm like now I'm going on to different projects where I've you know I've always kind of championed myself on a challenge and and now I've t- taken on some new challenges and I'm like ah okay now I have to you know you're constantly evolving and having to grow and learn and um you know now it's like you know that's what I have to do now and yes. yeah put my money where my mouth is so yeah so what, what do you have to do now? What What is the next step for you? Um, I'm doing another film with uh, Ridley called Kit Bag. Um, mm-hmm. And then I'm doing a, a theatre play in London next year in the West End, um, which, again, you know, that I got sent the script and just completely fell in love with it. And it was just kind of sent to me with no attachment of like, this is on offer or, or you can you audition for this and I was like is this like for me like what's the situation and and then it's like I don't know actually let me check and then they were like no like if you you know if you want to be a part of it we'd we'd love to speak with you and um you know it's something very new to me and I'm gonna have to learn a lot and um but again just reading reading the script and and being so moved by it and feeling like I have to be a part of this I have to do this you know, and I feel like those urges and those impulses and and those emotions, they don't lie to you, you know? Like, I feel like whatever that initial feeling is, is usually um, something to cling on to. And it's quite interesting, I find, your West End debut because most, you know, a lot of actors go the other way, right? They sort of start out on yeah. the stage and then they go to TV and they go to film and you're sort of com- kind of coming at it from a from a different angle. It's so it, that's so interesting that, you know, you kind of view that as a, as a new challenge because, I mean, of course, it would be completely different, isn't it? Yeah, well, I, I you know, I've done a lot of theatre auditions throughout the years and um, 
a lot of the feedback was often very, very positive, but it was always, you know, she's not trained, she's not theater trained, she hasn't gone to drama school, um, et cetera, et cetera. And I used to get quite defeated by that. And then, and then I got to a point where I was like, you know what, I think it, the right thing will come along with a director who believes in me and who wants to do that extra work, whatever needs to be done. And we'll both put the time in. And so then when, you know, I met with Justin Martin, who's, who's directing the play, um, I was like, okay, here it is. It's arrived, you know, this kind of, this meeting. And, um, and then I was like, okay, he believed, you know, to have someone believe in you in that way um, was really, really wonderful. And like you say, it's just nice to step out of your comfort zone, I think, and do something that's a little unfamiliar and something that does scare you. And, um, you know, means you're going to have to do your homework and, and get ready. For sure. For sure. Mm-hmm. Do, do you feel so in terms of the types of characters that have been, because I mean, just, I was thinking of everything that you've kind of come to inhabit with, with um, Villanelle and Marguerite and your character and Free Guy. I mean, these are really sort of ass kicking women like I mean do you, do you feel so Villanelle sort of opened a door in terms of I guess the physicality of that role too and sort of you know kind of being a really good calling card in terms of what you're able to portray and do as an actor has that sort of was that it do you think or you know what's yeah well I think what she enabled was like people to see me in many many different lights you know and and that's the beauty about getting to play women like this and that's why it's so important is that like women aren't one dimensional, you know, I got to explore so much through Villanelle and it was, it was really interesting then uh, the response that that got in regards to what people would consider me for, or, you know, people then go, Oh, they have to see it to believe it in a way. And, you know, she is so complex and so interesting that she did kind of set a bar, (laughs) you know, it's like, Oh my God, where do you go from here? Um, you know, but she is so incredibly unique. You know, I don't think there's many villanelles. I think she was one of those characters that comes by, um, you know, not very often. Um, so I was, you know, so wonderful that, I, that I'm able to play her. Um, so yeah, it probably, it probably did in many ways. Um, and also just, I think, you know, then really understanding my own, what I feel is my own ability and what I can give to a role. And then just, you know, when I'm reading something, assessing if, if the, the role allows me to show that, or if I feel, you know, I can bring something maybe unassuming or interesting to it. Maybe that doesn't meet the eye or you just want to make sure that you leave a day's film and feeling fulfilled, you know, and feeling challenged in whatever, whatever way that may be. I think that's what I'm always, always chasing. Um, I never, strangely, never want to feel comfortable, (laughs) which probably says a lot about me as a person. I don't know. Um, But yeah. (laughs) 